right, I, I find it kind of weird that when I go through YouTube videos on this topic, I don't really see much. So since I don't see much, I really wanted to make this video because I am sure that there is a lot of you out there who you're either looking to drive for Uber or for whatever reason, you're now looking to rent a vehicle. So you might have heard about the Uber Hertz partnership where you can go and you can rent um, a Tesla. I'm not sure if that's still the case because um, I did hear news that Hertz was dropping their um, EV fleet. So they may no longer be renting Teslas at the time that you guys are watching this video. But one thing that's going to be for certain is that the Uber Hertz you know, thing will still be available, of course, for drivers on the Uber platform to use. Now, will there be EV options, Teslas and everything like that? Time will tell, you know, at the current date of making this video, January 31st of 2024, I do still think they do have Teslas on there, even though they are selling off some Teslas that they have owned for, you know, whatever reason. But um, I want to kind of give you guys some information and the information that I'm going to share with you guys in this video might be able to share, I'm sorry, spare you some time and save you some headaches because um, a few weeks ago I had to get a major repair job done on my vehicle and it was down for uh, about two and a half weeks and during these two and a half weeks, um, I was really looking to get a rental to go ahead and get on the road, but I actually wind up just taking the two and a half weeks off and I am going to explain why. Now, just like, you know, most things with Uber, it's not easy and it's not perfect. Now, in an all perfect world, you will be able to go inside of your Uber driver app and just go ahead and, and, and you know, so see the offer, select the vehicle, tell the system, you know, when you actually want to pick this vehicle up. But that is actually not the case, at least not the case in my region. And I have actually spoke to some people where they're saying, hey, yeah, it's not an easy task to go ahead and rent one of these vehicles. But just to kind of sum it up what it actually is. Uber has partnered with Hertz so that if anyone out there in the world, for whatever reason, doesn't have a vehicle to do ride share and make money, they can go ahead and, and, and book a vehicle with Hertz through the Uber app. And it's actually very important that you guys do this through the Uber app. Don't just go to any Hertz and say, hey, I want to rent a vehicle and I'm an Uber driver. Don't go on the Hertz website and just book a vehicle, show up there and say, hey, I'm an Uber driver and I, I want to take, the no, you have to to make this reservation inside of the Uber app for two different reasons. Uh, they have Pacific vehicles dedicated to this program with Hertz and not all Hertz locations participate in this program. Like even though you might open the app and it'll give you all of these different Hertz, not all of them participate. And like I said, Uber doesn't make easy because even some of the ones that they show you, you will make a reservation, go all the way over there, and they tell you that they can't rent a vehicle. Why that is, I don't know. Now, when it comes down to price on renting these vehicles, I know the Tesla in particular was running around 325, 350 per week. Now you do have some perks when it comes to renting that vehicle, you get an extra dollar per trip, you save on gas, but, they do have normal gas, regular car rentals that you can actually grab, and I believe that they're starting somewhere around 269 per week. Um, what I would actually recommend, and I mean, there are very limited options out there when you consider, hey, I'm an Uber driver and I wanna go somewhere to rent a vehicle to get on the road. You can Google some options in your area. I know if you're in a big city, there might be some other options like in New York, New Jersey, we have some other different options. But for a lot of you out there, depending on where you're located, Hertz might be the only option for you. So if you have to do it, I don't wanna discourage you in any way from doing it. It's just, it's gonna be a difficult 
process. Now, maybe, and I didn't try this, it might be possible, and you guys let me know down in the comments because there's even some of you out there that's watching this video, you have actually been through this. So now, there might be an Uber support person that can help point you in the right direction of, hey, out of this list of Hertz in my area, which one can I actually get a vehicle from? Because I've heard stories from many different people where they went to three different Hertz locations and they told them that they didn't have a rental for them. And they're trying to figure out why they had a reservation for these locations and they still were not able to actually get a vehicle. Now, I did hear one success story and this guy actually went above and beyond to go ahead and get inside of this rental. See me, I just took the two and a half weeks off because I guess you could say, I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna try to force my business your way. I'm not gonna force my money into your pocket. But I did meet a guy who told me, hey, you know what? They will show you all of these different locations like here in my region, which is North Jersey. But there's actually only one which is in downtown Newark that will actually give you a Uber Hertz rental. They have the vehicles there, they have the Teslas, they're actually ready to go. But the problem is, is that for some strange reason, they will not tell you in the app, hey, this is the Pacific location. They're listing every single Hertz in your area. And now here's the next kicker. Good luck. And this is why I say you're probably gonna have if you wanna to try to call someone, try to reach out to maybe Uber. They might point you in a better direction because what I actually did in my region here in North Jersey, I called to four different Hertz locations that they were showing me inside of the Uber app as options that I can make a reservation at and go pick up a vehicle. I called all four of them in hopes of trying to get someone on the phone to see if, hey, do you have these vehicles at your location? Can I go ahead and proceed in making this reservation? At all four of these locations, I was not able to get anyone on the phone. Either the phone rang out completely or it would go into voicemail and try to proceed you into main, you know, the main reservation system for all of the Hertz locations. Might be a call center you know, over in India, who knows, but I'm looking to speak to someone directly at the location. So that was not successful. So therefore Hertz didn't get my business. Now, of course, I'm in a situation where I only needed a vehicle for two and a half weeks. This video is for all of you guys out there who may not have a vehicle and, and you're really looking to get on the platform and you're really trying for Hertz. That's my experience. Now, I am sure if you look down below in the comments to this video, other people are gonna give their experience and I'm sure it's just about the same. Um, now, the next thing with Hertz, if you're actually successful in picking up a vehicle and renting it with them under the Uber platform, this vehicle that you have needs to be, well, at least it's supposed to be changed out every 28 days so that they can do maintenance on that vehicle. Um, and then now the next thing is that you are in most areas gonna need to have a credit card. And I would definitely recommend that you play it on the safe side if you're successful in, in getting this rental option with them. You're gonna wanna go in there you know, with an actual credit card. There may be some locations that will let you use a debit card, but if you walk in there with a debit card, it could potentially get a little bit shaky on you, and that's not what you want. It's already been a difficult process. You personally don't wanna make this process any more difficult, so you go in there with a credit card. Make sure you have the deposit, which I think is like 300 bucks, and then the the full rental rate for a week. Moving forward, they will bill this card unless you give them another card every single week for your rental. Now, you don't wanna use a prepaid debit card or anything like that if, if you know, go with a credit card. That's gonna be the best thing that I can, you know, recommend for you guys. Now, I've heard stories of people not getting their vehicle switched out every 28 days, which means that maintenance is not being performed on this vehicle. 
make sure that they're performing maintenance. That's actually going to be the next thing. Now, I am going to be making a video specifically on my channel that speaks about the different options you have as far as renting, financing a vehicle, or buying the vehicle straight out cash. And that'll kind of give you guys some options as far as what's gonna be your long-term plan because it's in my all honest belief that renting a vehicle from Hertz or anywhere else long-term for rideshare driving is pretty much not a good idea. I don't wanna make this video too long, so you guys are gonna definitely have to go ahead and get subscribed to the channel that way you can go ahead and you know check out that video as well we get fully in detail you know with that give this video a thumbs up for me if you guys have found value from it money making joey i'm out of here and i will see you guys in the next one